Nobody likes doing chores, but what people do like is video games. So what if you could make doing the chores feel just like playing a video game? With a bit of engineering, let's make that happen and turn doing the yard work into a game. The first thing we need is a lawnmower to sacrifice. So here we have it, one electric lawnmower. Uh, Since we won't be the ones pushing around anymore, we can go ahead and get rid of these handles. Next thing we need to do is to be able to drive it around. So with some modifications to these existing brackets and some 3D printed mount, a motor for each wheel can now be mounted to the frame and drive the wheels via the belt through the five millimeter HTD pulleys. Now, if we power the wheels, they should start spinning. There you have it. We'll also be using this to turn the mower by driving to turn right. We'll drive the left wheel faster than the right so that push the mower around in that direction. This does encounter one issue though. When it is trying to turn, the front wheels just drag and slide along the ground. We don't want that happening. We can do better than that. Luckily, we have the technology that addresses this exact problem. We can use a little design called the Omni Wheel. These allow movement in both forward, reverse, and side to side directions. Now, with them on, look at just how much nicer and smoother the turning motion is. Now that's sorted, we have to get the blades running. Since we removed the handles with the buttons that used to control that, we now have to mimic it with hopefully by touching these wires together, we have the motor running. But we don't want to be touching the wires together just to get the blades running every time. So instead, we can replicate that with some relays. Now, if we do exactly like we did before, except this time using the relays, we should get the motor running. So now we have all the individual components sorted. To make it feel more like playing a video game, we need a way to control it. To get the inputs from the controller to the necessary devices on the lawnmower, we first need to know what signals each component needs to operate in their intended way. For the motor driver boards, we need two digital inputs to set the direction of the motor and a PWM signal to set the speed. For each of the relays, they need a digital low input to energize their coils for their contacts to close. With all that in mind, we can now read the positions of each of the controller's joysticks and create a string that contains its direction and magnitude. The same can be done for whether the controller's buttons are pressed, being either a zero or a one. With a small Python script, we can create all these strings, then join them into one and send the data over serial comms to the first Arduino, which forwards this data on via a radio antenna. The receiving antenna connected to another Arduino on the lawnmower receives this signal and slices up the string into its individual commands and drives the respective components accordingly. With all that sorted, we now have to wire up the control gear.
With all that done, it's onto the final piece of the puzzle. It's nice and all to be able to control it remotely, but we want to be able to view it remotely too. This is where the ESP32 Wi-Fi camera comes in, where we can view its feed over the local Wi-Fi network in a browser and see exactly where we want to go. With the control gear mounted and the wiring done for the batteries and the motors, all that's left to do now is power it up and test it out. So here we go. First thing, does the video feed work? Yes. Secondly, can we start the mole blades spinning? Yes. Can we now stop the mole blades? Cool. Now, let's see if we can drive it. Forwards. Yes, backwards. Yes, can we turn it? Not really. About this way. Ooh, we've got a bit of an issue there. So, looks like we can't quite there yet, but sort these next couple of issues and we'll be right on track. If we go back and watch the replay of what is happening when trying to turn, we can see the wheels just sit there spinning with no traction. So to fix that, we can add more grip by gluing the tread from a bike tire to the existing wheels. This does give us more traction, but it has led to another issue. If you listen, you can hear the whining of the motors trying to work, but they just aren't producing enough torque to move the lawnmower. So there's a couple of ways we can increase the torque. We can add a bigger gear to the drive wheels, but that isn't an option as the gears are just about at their maximum size without causing clearance issues with the ground. So the next best option is to change the gear ratio of the motor's gearboxes. In this case, we've gone from a gear ratio of 5.2 to 1 to 13.7 to 1. With the new motors and tyres on and performing so well, nothing could stop us now. Well, that's what I thought until a loss of radio comms led to a runaway lawn mower, followed by an unsuccessful frantic run to try and stop it before eventually reaching its final resting place. But we won't let that stop us. It's now time for... Level one, start game. Here we go, let's do this. Actually, we're missing something. To make it feel more like a video game, we need video game music. That's more like it. And we're off. We're all struggling to turn, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Here we go. Let's go for a big run now. Let's get some big weed. Alright. We'll try some of this long grass. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's a purple thing. Ah, no. Let's run it over though. Let's go for it. Ooh. Backwards mowing. Now some boards. Let's get close to that edge. Nice. Ooh, we're stuck. No, we're back on. We're back on. Yeah, not done. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. But we're getting there, we're getting there. It is hard to get close to those edges though. 
hard to tell exactly where we're placed. Well, we always get bogged a little bit in this area. Oh yes, we can spin around. That was good for a first mode. Level complete. New upgrade unlocked. Level two. Wow, we can really get these edges. Oh, let's do this. I think it's just cutting better than the lawnmower was. Okay, this time we'll be nice and close. No, we're moving away right again. Let's move back. Yep, that's right. Let's keep going. We're nearly done. We've got this. We have got this. Yes, that's good. Oh, now we've got it. Let's get it now. Nice. So that turned out semi successful. If you want a copy of the Python and Arduino code, you can check it out on my GitHub. And if you want to see what I get up to next, Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you then. Game over.